My name is. My name is. Pepe Gill. Pepe Gill. Yay! <laughs> I graduated from. I graduated, I graduated from. Santa Barbara High School. Santa Barbara High School. High School. Last year. Last year. Are there any Dons here? Are there any Dons here? <laughs> what I'm going to talk about. What I'm going to talk about is the history. Is the history of Y Saks Fifth Avenue. Of Y Saks Fifth Avenue. And in addition. And in addition. Going to explain. Going to explain why we're all here today. Why we're all here today. Pretty much. Pretty, pretty much. much. For a long time. For a long time. There has been a disenfranchisement. There has been a disenfranchisement of communities of color. Of, of communities of color. color. In particular, in particular, the East Side and West Side communities. The East Side and West Side communities. For a long time, for a long time, a few elected individuals, a few elected individuals have been making very significant decisions. Have been making very significant decisions that have been having negative impacts that have been having negative impacts on these communities on these communities on March 14th 2007 on March 14th 2007 Luis Chucky Linares Luis Chucky Linares was stabbed in a gang fight was stabbed in a gang fight and bled to death in the Saks Fifth Avenue parking lot and bled to death in the Saks Fifth Avenue parking lot as I previously stated as I previously stated there's been a history there's been a history a very, very bad things happening here in Santa Barbara. <laughs> very, very, very bad things happening in Santa Barbara. Before March 14th, before March 14th, the elected officials, the elected officials were okay with the violence that was happening. Were okay with the violence that was happening. They wanted us to keep it in those communities. They wanted us to keep it in those communities. But the moment that spilled into the tourism industry, but the moment that spilled into the tourism industry, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you have tactics of suppression that are hurting the community. You have tactics of suppression that are hurting the community. For example, for example, the gang injunction. The gang injunction. Has anyone heard of this before? Has anyone heard of this? Yeah. <laughs> In addition, in addition, Operation Gatorol, Operation Gatorol, both of these tactics, both of these tactics are not promoting good things. Are not promoting good things. A lot of bad things have happened and will continue to happen. A lot of bad things have happened and will continue to happen. If the people who are being most affected, if the people who are being most affected are not being heard, are not being heard. And this is why, and this is why, we are here today. We are here today.